What's up, Fragrant Family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm doing another first impression. As you can tell from the title, it is going to be Whispers in the Library by Replica, uh, created from uh, Mason Margella. So um, he's been producing really good stuff. Um, he's got some really good, uh, you know, really hyped up fragrances uh, like Jazz Club, By the Fireplace, um, and this one is starting to make its rounds. And so this did come out in 2019, so about a year ago. And, um, you know, it's really kind of made its rounds and started some uh, uh, talk in the community of uh, fragrances. So really excited to bring that to you today. Um, but uh, before we go and get into that, guys, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I know that sounds like a lot, but uh, it is very possible. So uh, with your help, I know we can do it. If I uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And then if you didn't like it, you know the drill. Just give it a thumbs down. I'm trying to get the honest feedback. So... Um, this one comes from uh, a subscriber, actually. He sent me um, the whole line of Replica, so really excited about that. Uh, this is a little Replica box that came in, and uh, shout out to Jeremiah for that. Thank you so much, man. Um, he literally gave me an army load of uh, samples to try, and so I have content for days and days and days, so um, really excited about that. So this is the sample, but I'm going to show you what the bottle looks like, because I was trying... I'll let you guys see the bottle. I think that uh, that is my job as a reviewer. If I don't have the bottle, at least show you a picture of it, right? So that's what the uh, the bottle looks like, just like all the other replica bottles. Um, nothing super special, just the name of the house, name of the fragrance, um, Mason Margella at the bottom. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it just says um, fragrance description is pepper and waxed wood so that's what's on the bottom but let's go here to base notes and pull out the actual notes because when i went to the actual website from mason uh it just said uh peppery vanilla notes and so i was like what there's, there's gotta be more than that um but uh as you can see there is only three notes listed at least from basenotes.net so it is pepper cedarwood and vanilla so really kind of excited about that um you know, you guys know me, I love the vanilla uh, fragrances, uh, the darker uh, fragrances, so really excited about that. Um, you know, with the cedar wood and pepper, probably going to be kind of a little spicy, some warm uh, tones to it, and that vanilla is going to just round it all out, smooth it out, make it sweet, and uh, probably give a little bit of depth to it. So really excited about that, so let's go ahead and get into it, man. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope this video finds you well, and you know, there's still some craziness going on out in the world with all the COVID stuff and the elections coming up and all that good stuff. So hopefully this video can just kind of take your mind off of it. We can just relax and enjoy something we love. So let's go ahead and get into this bad boy. Fire away. Man, these little samples, man, I'll tell you what, they have a really good atomizer. All right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, wow. Man, this is gorgeous. Holy moly. Wow, this is this is really good. Man. Hmm, I'm just gonna take a moment. Hang on. I, I need a moment. This is this is beautiful. <sighs> That's good stuff, guys. Okay. So very, very vanilla. Very, very vanilla. But like an authentic vanilla. There's nothing synthetic about this, at least to my nose. And that cedar wood is just blended so well in there. It's, man, so essentially what you're getting, this is what I get, a very woodsy vanilla. And that pepper, just just, just a touch of pepper almost, like just this little spritz of pepper, if you will, is just dancing in the background. Just to give it a little bit of a spice. And it's not like a, a spice like you would get out of like, uh, by the fireplace or a city on fire or um, you know stuff like that with that real almost smoky like spice or just that real kind of Christmas like spice if that makes any kind of sense this is like a natural spicy just woody note and so this is really 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 good I love this stuff this is fantastic I'm gonna have to get a bottle of this a full bottle and it's wow it's changing already, holy. Yeah, so, okay, so, 
first initial spray, really dark, woodsy, a uh, little bit heavy, um, very good for like fall, winter, but as it's drying down, it's becoming more vanillic, if that's a word, vanillic, um, and like sweet, smooth, and that spice is starting to kind of come out. Wow, this is really, really good stuff. Well done, Mason, well done. Yeah, so this is really, really good stuff, guys. Like, this is, I, I wonder if it's listed as masculine because, let's see here. What is this listed as? Okay, yeah, so this is listed as unisex, and I could not agree more. Guys, this is like a perfect unisex fragrance. A guy or girl could easily pull this off. There's nothing like super uh, womanly about it. There's nothing really masculine about it. It honestly, it's just like, a great neutral smell like yeah like it's it's a perfect unisex like you don't get that too often like there's a couple in my opinion that i think are perfectly unisex like uh, uh millisome imperial from creed uh rush of unicorns which is you know their take on uh millisome imperial from parfums vintage and uh this one man this is very very well blended yeah so okay Perfect unisex fragrance. Uh, guy or girl could wear this. Um, you know, honestly, like I'm getting like more of a nighttime kind of vibe with this. It's real kind of it was super, not really super dark, but it's it's pretty dark in the opening. But as it starts to dry down, um, you know, the darkness is still there, the heaviness is still there, but that that sweet, spicy vanilla wood, um, cedar wood note really starts to come out and almost smooths it out, and it gives it just like a life to it. I don't know, it, it, like it just came alive. I don't know if that makes any kind of sense or not, but this like to me, um, put a picture in your head. I know it's supposed to like represent like a library or something like that, but what I really get, I don't, I don't know why. I've, I've never been here, so I don't know why, but I get like two places. I get London and I get New York City. So like think of like New York City or London in like around Christmas time when it's like nice and cold outside, you got a nice pea coat jacket on, you got like a fedora or like some sort of hat on, you got your dress shoes on. Uh, I'm picturing a man, so just letting you know that. Um, you got a scarf on, real real kind of dressed up, and he's just kind of walking through the town. Like doesn't really have any um, place to go. He's just maybe looking at lights or, you know, going to grab some coffee or something like that. Nothing just super big, but he's just kind of walking through the town and that's what I get. I don't know. Like, it's at nighttime. Uh, that's just the picture that it puts in my head. Yeah, I get a real just casual scent. This is really good stuff, guys. I'm definitely getting a bottle of this. Like, Jeremiah, like, you've sent me all these things. And, man, I'm going to be spending more money than I ever thought. Because I'm going to be getting full bottles now. This is super good, guys. This is really, really good stuff. So, that's kind of the picture I get. So, I definitely think it's more of a nighttime scent. I don't think it's for, like... I wouldn't wear this like to the clubs or anything like that. Uh, it'd be a really great date night fragrance. Um, I think that as it dries down, it's gonna sit a little bit more closer to the skin. It is a little bit loud in the opening, um, but uh, you know, as it dries down, you get you know three, four hours into it. I think it's gonna make a really, 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 really nice skin scent. It's gonna be really good for like close encounters. Um, you know, whether it's just you know sitting on the couch, watching TV, cuddled up, watching a movie, something like that, going to a date where you're, you know, right across from each other, um, you know, places like that, good for the movies and stuff like that. Um, yeah, perfect date night fragrance, like for either or, like if you're a man or a woman, this could, this could do well. Um, yeah, I, man, that's just, that's a part, I can't, it literally to me is the perfect balance of masculine and feminine, like it doesn't lean Either way, I can easily picture a man or a woman. I just, for whatever reason, pictured a man uh, in that little picture that I had. But um, longevity, I think this would really get you probably at least seven, eight hours, maybe more. Um, I think that cedar wood and that pepper are really going to stick to that and uh, make it last a little bit longer. So, um, yeah, guys, that's kind of my uh, first impressions of it. Obviously, I haven't worn it, but um, I'm definitely going to definitely going to rock this. Um, hopefully, maybe even this week. Um, well, maybe not this week. This week is pretty, <sighs> summer has come back apparently. I'm looking at the weather forecast. It's supposed to get like 87, 84, 85, and I'm, I'm done with that. So I'm really, really wanting to, the fall and winter weather to get, to get here, but 
Yeah, the next cold day, I'm going to give this a shot and see what it does. Hmm, really good stuff, guys. Okay, so, all right, guys. Well, that's my first impressions, kind of my review over it. Um, you know, I'll have to do a follow-up video to it uh, just to give you my final, you know, how long it actually did project, when to wear it, stuff like that. So, all right, guys. Um, yeah, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. You know the drill. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have this. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't, you you know love it. If you hate it, if you haven't got it and you want to try it, you know whatever. Just get open up the comment section. So, um, all right, guys. If you love it, wear it.